Hi everyone and thank you so much for uh, joining me on this moment. Um, as you all well know, I like to share. <laughs> and sometimes I share apps and sometimes I just share real estate tips and I share other things. But this morning God spoke to me and um, he said, Teresa, you know you're great at sharing except you haven't shared your testimony. And um, one of the testimonies that he put in my heart to share is the testimony of provision, God's provision. And I'm trying not to get emotional, but anyway. So years back, before I moved to Miami, I was going through a divorce. And uh, needless to say, at that particular moment in my life, um, I also lost my job. And I was having a very difficult time um, trying to find work, which led to serious, obviously, uh, financial hardship and uh, for our family. And obviously the divorce uh, came into play because of finances and other issues. And, um, I was just having a really rough time and I was always the person that and kind of I still am <laughs> someone who likes to fix everything someone who handles it someone who fixes someone who finds the solution someone who comes up with um, the results that need to be uh, taken care of and unfortunately in that particular time um, I believe God was trying to teach me a lesson. He was trying to show me that without him, I am nothing. And without uh, what he wants for me, I am nothing. So, you know, as I was going through this journey, I wasn't able to find work, which was the first time in my entire life that I was out of work for such a long time. Because I was always, be, you know, I would be able to, before I, I left one job, I already had another one in place. And, you know, I, I just never had a hard time uh, finding work. But again, it led to a lot of hardship. And I remember we were uh, about to foreclose on our property. Um, I was already, my husband or ex-husband had already moved out. Um, I was about to lose our condo. We had already lost our cars and I was down to the last $25 in my bank account. And actually, I didn't even have them in my bank account. I had them at home. <laughs> and um, so I had $25 and I remember that Sunday, it was a Sunday, I went to church. And with all the faith in my heart, with everything I had, I prayed. And sorry getting a little emotional I prayed and I prayed because I know that God has never left me I had never had a situation where I felt so alone and so um, not e being able to resolve what was going on and um, I went to church that day and mind you I never told anyone that I was going through financial hardship I never told them I was losing my house. My kids who were already grown and gone never knew that I was going through any of these financial uh, situation. They didn't know I was getting a divorce and you know, I was just not the type of person to share that personal information with anyone. But I remember going to church this Sunday and I go and um, I started praying and I prayed to God and I told him, you know, I know you've never left me. You've never forsaken me. I've never gone hungry. And I know that with all the faith in the world, I'm going to, to tithe um, what I have. And I'm going to believe that you were going to provide. And I remember praying and I remember when they came by to pick up the tithing and the offerings and I had $25 in my pocket and I gave $20 and I put it in the envelope and I kept $5 because I needed to put $5 um, in gas in my dad's car that he had uh, let me use <laughs> so that I can go to church because my cars were already gone. 
And I remember giving the $20 and feeling peace. And I went home and I just said, you know, I, I know that he, you're gonna provide, you know, I'm not gonna worry about this, I give it all to you. And um, the next morning, this was Monday morning, I get a phone call. And I get a phone call from um, a couple that are here on Facebook, my Facebook friends, and if they see this, they'll know who I'm talking about. But it was a couple from church, and they called me, and they said, Teresa, God put in our hearts that we needed to sow a financial seed in your life. Of course, you know, I was in shock. <laughs> And I shouldn't have been because I know God provides, but I was in shock. And they said, you know, God put in our hearts that we need to sow a financial seed in your life. Can you give me your bank account information so we can, you know, make a deposit? We won't be able to do it today, unfortunately, because we're, you know, we're running late. But first thing tomorrow morning, we'll go ahead and make that deposit in your bank account. Now, of course, I told them, oh, my God, thank you so much. I'll pay you back. And they in turn said, no, Teresa, you're not going to pay us back because if you pay us back, you'll be taking away from our blessing. If God put in our hearts to give, you can't pay us back because then you'd be taking away from my blessing or our blessing. So I agreed and I expected them to maybe put $80, maybe $100 in my bank account. And I remember checking my bank account that morning and there was five hundred dollars in my bank account what can i say <laughs> i dropped down to my knees and i praised god because he came through and um they were about to disconnect my light so i was able to pay my light and then all of a sudden i get a call from my son it says hey mom i'm going to aldi do you need anything and I had no groceries so I said yeah honey if you can just bring me a dozen eggs and some bread that would be great so he goes okay mom no worries now mind you during all this I'm praying I'm praising God and I call my best friend and I share my good news with him and I explained to him what happened and he was like absolutely upset with me <laughs> and I'm sure you're listening to this too <laughs> I was very upset with me because he said Teresa we're friends and if you're in need if you were in need you should have called me because that's what friends are for and I know that you would have done the same for me you would have done the same for me if I needed you so anyway we got to talking and he came over he says what are you doing for dinner I'm making some rice and I said well I don't know what I'm making for dinner because at that point I didn't have any food to make so he goes no worries I'm gonna come over so we can talk so I'm like okay great so then that afternoon, my son, and I'm sorry, I'm making the story really long. My son shows up with six bags of groceries. Now, mind you, I just asked him for some eggs and some bread. And I go, Eli, why did you, you know, all I asked you for was eggs and bread. And he said, um, I felt something in my heart that you needed more. So I just bought you a little bit of everything. And he brought me six bags of groceries. And of course, I got on my knees again. <laughs> um, then my friend comes over and he brings over some rice and at this point by the time he got there i actually had some chicken that i can cook <laughs> so i made some chicken and we sat down and we talked 
And before he left, he gives me a check for $350. And of course, you know, I told him, no, no, I can't take this. And he says, no, you are gonna take this. So he gives me a check for 350 and he says, and you better not pay me back. Because I know you would do the same for me. My point to all this, and I'm, I haven't even finished the story, but this was, Tuesday, this was Tuesday that he came over. Wednesday morning, I get a call from someone who I had applied for a job for maybe, I don't know, two or three months prior as I was looking for work. And he says, you know, I looked at your resume and I've had it here for a little while, but can you come in for an interview? And I said, yes, absolutely. So I go in for my interview and I get hired making $25 an hour. So the moral to this testimony is that God's provision is real. That sometimes we think that we can take care of everything and that we don't need him, but we do. We do because he is faithful and this is not the only time he's done this for me. I'll share other testimonies um, here and there, but I just wanted to share that because I know that someone today probably needed to hear this and know that God is good, that he provides, that when you give with faith, he will provide, that when we give it up to him, he will provide like he has for me many times over and over and i just needed to share that with you today so i hope that whoever here needed to hear that know that he is real that he provides and that whatever you are going through if you're going through financial hardship just believe believe and trust in him because he will provide he will provide if you have the faith have a great day sorry for the tears sorry <laughs> for maybe all this sharing but that's what god put in my heart this morning and i've been meaning to do it all day and i just had the opportunity now so um you have a good night and um god bless you